Hello friends, I welcome you all to my channel today. This video is about using bentonite clay for my hair. To prepare my max, I'm mixing the same amount of bentonite clay with the same amount of warm water. You can substitute water with apple cider vinegar. Just use what works best for you. And the quantity of the bentonite clay will depend on the length and the volume of your hair. So I did some research recently and I learned that you're not supposed to use metals in preparing your max because metals kind of reduce the effect of the clay. So you can use a plastic or a wooden bowl or spoon to be on the safer side. My max is ready for application. So before you apply it to your hair, make sure that your hair is wet. You don't have to shampoo your hair before that. Just spread some water on your hair to make it wet so that you can get some slip. So I'm applying the max to every part of my hair and also massaging it thoroughly into my scalp. I'm making sure that every part of my hair is coated with a max. I don't want to mess any part because the benefits are great, are very great for our natural hair. Also, when applying this max to your hair, please avoid combing or finger detangling. You can do that before you apply it to your hair or after you apply it to your hair. All you need to do is just apply it to your scalp and your hair. You need to avoid it because when you apply it to your hair, you'll feel that your hair is kind of dry. Yeah, and you know that combing is not supposed to be done on dry hair. So if you want to comb it, you can do it after you are, you've rinsed it off your hair. What baffles me is that after rinsing it out, you will feel that your hair is very soft and moisturized. Anyways, if you feel that the max is getting dried as you apply it to your hair, you can spread some more water on your hair. It doesn't matter. Okay, so let's get to know some benefits of bentonite clay. Bentonite clay is rich in sodium, potassium, calcium, etc. that helps to enhance hair growth. It moisturizes dry hair, it reduces frizz, it gets rid of dandruff, it adds volume to our hair and also draws out excess dirt, toxins and oils from our hair. It kind of serves as a shampoo and a conditioner. So some people substitute bentonite clay with shampoo. Yeah, so you don't that means you don't need to shampoo your hair after using bentonite clay. But it all depends on you what works best for you. I'm done applying to my hair. I'm just making sure that every part of my hair has been coated with a bentonite clay. Just some small inspection. Okay, considering you covering your hair with a plastic bag, it will depend on what you are looking out for. If your hair is very dirty, you, you kind of produce excess sebum and stuff, then you would not want to cover your hair with a plastic bag. But if it's vice versa, then you can cover your hair with a plastic bag. So you can leave your hair on for 30 minutes. Rinse it off, moisturize, and style your hair. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, if you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you know you're done this. And I'll see you in my next video.